So it was a, a point a little bit later on a subsequent visit after we fooled around with the buccal bupe a little more that I decided something was not right. A family member came in and gave some history and it turned out uh, she did have an assortment of risks for chronic pain syndrome and she was sent for psychological intervention removed from opioids since opioid is really contraindicated in people with centralized pain syndromes. And uh, I have no idea what happened to her. She disappeared. She did not keep a follow-up appointment. Yeah, I wonder why she didn't keep a follow-up appointment. She possibly right. died. There is zero evidence that centralized pain even exists, number one. There is zero evidence that opioids are contraindicated in them. But this right here is why I think they're doing this to remove everyone off of opioids, that they went off of yep. opioids. And the thing is, it's like what I've seen in these recent years is that, yeah, they they don't know what happens to their patients. I know what happens to them. They go on social media. They try to find groups to to, you know, speak to me, find advocates what what they need help. They want to know what to do. You know, they were treated so poorly and their pain is very real. But University of Michigan doctors think they're mentally crazy and they don't want to go back. That's what happens to these patients or they've had enough of being mistreated and they decide to end their life. And that's exactly right. We're the ones who hear from them, not them. And